Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Numerics with Nadia. In today's video, we're going to continue working through our beginner geometry playlist. And in this lesson, we're going to classify three-dimensional shapes. So first off, we're gonna go through some diagrams. We're going to define what three-dimensional shapes are to prepare ourselves to be able to actually classify three-dimensional shapes. And once we work through all of that, we will, as always, get into some practice problems. So first off, what is a three-dimensional shape? What does three-dimensional mean? So a three-dimensional shape, well, three-dimensional means that it has three dimensions, right? Pretty self-explanatory. But what are those three dimensions? They are length, width, and height. So in our 2D dimensions, we were dealing with just length and height. But for 3D shapes, we have length, width, and height. So I would write this down in your notebooks if you guys would like. Let's also compare 2D to 3D with a visual example. So here is a two-dimensional shape. Notice how it is flat, right? It doesn't have that third dimension. And like I said, it only has length and height. So this would be classified as a two-dimensional shape, and it's just a regular square. Now looking at this other example, see how this one looks 3D, right? It's like something you could pick up. That's because this is a three-dimensional shape. It has length, it has height, but it also has width. And this three-dimensional shape would be classified as a cube. We will go through a lot of other classifications. As you see on this diagram and on this picture, we have the most common ones that you guys will see. So we have a cylinder, we have a cube that we already looked at. We have a triangular pyramid, a triangular prism, a cone, a cuboid, hexagonal prism, which isn't as popular, but you guys will maybe see that as well. And then we have a sphere and a hemisphere. So I have two important notes based off of this graphic right here. The first one is a cuboid is also commonly referred to as a rectangular prism. So this little cuboid, that purple shape, I'm gonna write under it that it can also be called a rectangular prism. You will see that more so and more often than it being called a cuboid. So that's the first note. And then the second important note that I want you guys to notice is that hemi, that means half. So when we're looking at a hemisphere compared to a sphere, all it means is that a hemisphere is half of a regular sphere. I just wanted to point that out because in this picture, the hemisphere looks a little bit larger than half of the sphere, but that is the technical definition of hemisphere. So now we will move on to one other really important distinction, and this confuses a lot of people, so let's go over it. What is the difference between a prism and a pyramid? In that diagram, that last picture we had, we had both a triangular prism and a triangular pyramid. What's the difference here? So a pyramid has one base, while a prism has two bases. So that's one really important distinction. And the other one, for a pyramid, the faces are triangles, right? In this case, because it's a triangular pyramid. Whereas for the prism, the faces and the sides are rectangular in shape. The last note to make here is that for a pyramid, all of the faces meet at a vertex, and a vertex is where a series of points meet. So those are the differences between a pyramid and a prism. We also went through a few other notes, and now it's time to try and classify some of these 3D shapes. So now we'll get into our practice section for today. The directions say to classify the 3D shapes below. They say to write the name, the shape of the base, and the number of bases. So for each one of these practice problems, and we'll do a few, we first have to write the name, second the base, and third the number of faces. So for our first example here, this is our visual. We again need name, shape of the base, and number of bases. So the name of this shape would be a rectangular prism. Why? Because the shape of the base, which is our next part of the question, is a rectangle, right? And 
it's not a pyramid, right? Because it doesn't all point to one vertex. So it's just a rectangular prism. Now counting up all the faces, we have six. And I know I haven't described what a face means yet. So I'll go ahead and write a note for you guys down here. All a face means is that it is a flat surface on the shape. So if I were to try to put this rectangular prism down on a table, I'd be able to do that on all six faces of the shape. So now that we know that the face of a shape is not a smiley face in this situation, it is the number of flat surfaces that the shape can be placed on. Now we can move on to our next two practice problems. For number two, we have this 3D shape here in yellow. And again, we're classifying it by three things. We're classifying it by the name of the 3D shape, the shape of the base, and the number of bases. So if we look here, this shape would be classified as a triangular pyramid. Why? Two reasons. Because it only has one base and because all of the sides join at the vertex. So those two things will make us have a pyramid versus a prism. And again, we went over that already, but that's something that a lot of people get confused with. Now we'll move on to the shape of the base. I'm outlining it in red. And as you can see here, the shape of the base is a triangle. And now for the last portion of classifying this, it is the number of faces. Excuse the typo here, it should not be bases, it should be faces. And here for our triangular pyramid, we have four faces, right? We have the bottom base, and then we have all three sides. So in total, we have four faces for our triangular pyramid. Now we will move on to our third and final practice problem for today's lesson. Again, we're going to classify it by name, by shape of the base, and by the number of faces it has. So the name of this figure here in pink it's called a cylinder. It was in our diagram earlier in the video. And to figure out the shape of the base, I'm going to draw a little dotted red line on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to see in this diagram, but if we look at the top base, that one's also a circle. So the shape of our bases for our cylinder are circles. Now for the number of faces, we have three. We have the top, the bottom, and the side. So all together we have three faces total. And that wraps up our practice problems for today. I know that there are other shapes that we haven't gone through, but the steps are all the same. I would encourage you guys to do the rest of the shapes and in that initial diagram on your own here prior to finishing off the end of this video. All right, you guys, that wraps up today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like it if you did, share this video with a friend, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.